<laughs> What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is Anti-Squad, an early access turn-based strategy game. Now I have a, personally I have a love-hate relationship with turn-based strategy games. Either I really love them or I really hate them. There just seems to be no middle ground for me. This is one that I really love. It's just a lot of fun to play. It's pretty lightweight, I guess. It makes a lot of... I like the characters. Um, the missions are fun. Here's our mission select screen. And um, this is like our tutorial here. We'll just um, go with the second one here. Now here's our character select screen. Um, you start out with two, three, four, five characters unlocked. And it looks like you can hire some more characters if you want to swap it up and upgrade these. And all these guys can be upgraded with coins that you earn during the mission. This is not stuff that you buy as DLC or it's not one of those type of games. This is all stuff that you earn in game. But you can just at, upgrade different attributes with the characters. I'm going to roll with uh, these three. These three seem to be my favorite. We got a sniper, a guy with an assault rifle and Rose, who's kind of like a scout, I suppose. And they each have different uh, abilities. Like here, Rose has a vial that takes down shields and a smoke grenade. He's got a thing that can give himself and his uh, partners armor, and he's got a close knife. This uh, is a sleeping dart, which uh, comes, in very, comes very handy. And this is to help move, but we'll get to that as we play, I'm sure. Uh, let's go normal here, and we don't need to, there's a story going on, but we don't need to see that for this. Now here, what I got going on here is this yellow dot that goes around here. This is the area which Rose, the selected character, can fire her weapon. Now as you can see, here's the sniper. He's got a much larger area. As you can see, the, these rocks kind of block the path here. And obviously this guy is kind of a medium area. Now these white circles is areas that he can move. Now, this is all determined by this number right here. This blue number right here. That's your action points. And each character has a different set amount of action points. Um, these gauges down here, this blue shows action points, green health, and these are your shield. Now the shields are just a one hit thing. You get hit once, one shield gold gets taken away. So And then after that, then it works on the life. Which can you see here, this is the life, 100. Rose only has 35 life. Um, let me see here. This guy's only got 60 life, and again, no shields. So, now, let's move it up. We want to take out these guys. Um, we can move him up here. Um, let's see what we can do with Rose. Actually, I'm going to take this guy out. One down. And I can double click onto him, and he there he gave me some loot for some upgrades. And he's only got five action points, so he can't even do anything. He's done moving. It costs him X amount to move, so he's kind of done for this round. I'm going to move, now, I don't want to get Rose in too much trouble with this guy here. And I don't want, this guy doesn't, can't do much too, so what I'm going to do is kind of move these people into position. Now I can click on him and see where he can move to and fire to. Um, what I'm actually going to probably do is move Rose right here. Just to kind of protect my sniper, because my sniper is very valuable and he gets easy to kill. I'll move him up one, I guess. Alright, and we'll end the turn here. Saying we have action points, but we don't want to spend them. Oh, takes down a shield. Not a big deal. Alright, so I can move him up. Move him up. I can just click once and it, it'll show that I, if I move here, I'm going to have 50 action points left. So let's move it up here. Now, What's nice about this guy's special ability here is one of them is the knife stab. And that took his... It's just basically an instant kill. Now as you can see he had a shield there but it went right by the shield and it's just a instant kill just like that. Very nice. So let's move him up to position. We'll move 
rows right next to him. I don't think we have to worry about those guys for the time being. And we'll move our sniper up. And call it the end of the turn. Now here it's saying that Rose still has action points. We don't care. You know, we could get closer, but we want to, you know, be smart about this, I guess. All right. Let me see here. I can move him right here. Take this guy out. Well, now he has 110 life, and his bullets only have 100 damage, so it's not going to even kill him, but we could probably move Rose into position just to take him out. Just like that. Alright, now this is gonna, this is some health. None of our guys need health, so we're kinda good. Now what I'm gonna do is just basically retreat with Rose. Again, I don't want her to get in trouble. It's not always good to go in head first. Um, actually, let me move over here. I'm just gonna kind of stay where they're at. I'm gonna kind of just wait and hopefully these guys move closer. Now with him, I'm gonna use my shielded ability. Now what? Now it's currently two shields, two shields, no shields. Watch when I use this. We all get an extra shield. And this now I have a five turn turn cooldown on that shield. So I'm just gonna stick it with that. Let's see what they do. Ooh, I got a achievement somehow here. He takes down, oh, almost kills my sniper, not good. He stole my loot, not a big deal. Alright, they're moving up and they're moving fast here. Oh, he takes down one of Rose's shields, not a big deal. Man, they're really uh, coming up here. Lots of scouts, alright. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go with our sniper here. Um, boy. Let's just go with Rose here. Now, I'm going to use Rose. These guys have three shields. What's nice here, this Vi will take out um, these guys' shields, which will be nice. All three taking out their shields. Very nice. So now, now what I'm going to do is select my sniper. Now, I could take out this guy or this guy, but what's nice about going with something like right here is it'll be a two-hit kill, as you'll see in a second. It'll basically pass through the, this guy and hit this guy. Let's do that now. Pop. So that's a two-for-one right there. Nice thing about the sniper. Sniper's the only guy that I know of that does that. Um, let me see here. Move her right here. Let's see if I can kind of wear down on this guy. Boy, I, you know, I might have to retreat here, though. Let's use him first. Alright, that was fine. Um, this might be alright, because I'm going to get... Those gave me some more action points. Actually, I'm going to do this, too. There we go. Moving all right. Um, this guy, I'm not sure if I want to mess with here. I could try to pick up this. Um, I have 60, but if I move here, I'm only going to be able to fire on him once, and it won't be enough to pick, you know, to, uh, how should I say it, to finish him off. So I, And he's going to be a strong guy to uh, fight back against. So I'm just going to retreat here. Let me see here. I got can't really do anything. Oh, actually I can here. I'll use the dart on him. And what the dart does is drain, it'll drain his action points. Which would be nice. And these guys are basically just going to use all their action points getting to us. Now look, he has hardly any action points, so he's, he couldn't even do anything. All right, let me see what do I want to do here. I will. I'm probably gonna move right here. Oh, let's go back here. And just basically so to take out the uh, both guys at the same time here. 
that wasn't enough to kill that guy, but that's okay. Here we got a prize box. I'll show you what those got at the end of the mission. I'll show you what that does. Um, let's move right here. We can take this guy out with this. We don't need to use the knife. That'll save us some action points. And we should be able to take him out. Pop, 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 pop. All right, looking good, looking good. Looks like we got two guys left. Let's uh, let's go get them. Looking good so far. Let's move him up here. We'll move our lovely lady Rose up. Move her. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do. Up here, and. Our sniper, he, you know, he's kind of a slow-moving guy. It takes a lot of action points for him to move. I'll actually show you guys, just so you know what what goes on here. Here's his action points. If I, this is going to take all of them but five, but now he'll be able to move much more the next turn. Um, Rolls has a smoke grenade. If I was in trouble, I could use this smoke grenade. It basically is like a smoke screen, and my guys can hide in the smoke screen. Very useful. And we already went through this. Um, let me see here. I'm just going to... Again, move these up over here. I'll move her up over here. I kind of want to get my sniper into place before I do much, so we'll end the turns. Um, let's go to our sniper. Remember, we used that special ability. Look at how much better I can move. More I can move, I should say. Which is very nice. I'm going to move him up one, because I think I'll be able to... There we go. Yep. I'll move him all the way up here. Excellent. And Rose, let's, uh, boy, maybe I want to get a different direction with Rose, but I kind of want to keep her close by as well in case I need to use that smoke screen. Let's just move her right here. And let's move him up one here. Same thing with him. All right, we'll call that good. Oh, he says I'm in trouble. That means this guy can reach him here. Um, but you want to know what? We have so many shields that... And maybe it'll be alright to show you guys what happens when someone or enemies dies. Or one of our teammates dies. We can resurrect them. Oh, he takes down one shield. She returns fire. Takes on his shield. Takes on another shield. It's a shootout. Pow. Oh, my... My... Uh, squad mate won. Click on here. Mainly because she had more shields. All right, um, let's, boy, you know, it's still that sniper. I'm going to want to take that, that uh, help, uh, filled up some life. Hmm, so we can do with our sniper. Oh, we can actually take a shot at him, which would be good. Now, what I'm actually going to do is just hit him. I only have enough for one shot here. I'm actually going to do the dart to drain his points because I don't want him coming after us. I want to make this a uh, group effort, I guess. And I'll just fill use this to fill up our... like this. And just to show you guys the smoke screen here. Here's the smoke screen. Now we're super safe. Not only does he have no action points, but we're in there as well in the smoke screen. And that's all you can move. Okay. And now the the smoke I have to actually move out of the smoke screen to attack with a person. But that's okay. Let's uh let's move up here with Rose. We'll use her to take down the shield. Excellent. I'll move this guy up right here. And we only got one shot on him. Let's see here. Can I move? Oh, man. I'm going to have to move him up. And I won't have enough to move him out of the line of fire and take him out. Let's see what else we should do here. Um, I'm going to actually move him back into here. And let's play it really safe here. And I'll move her. Oh, man. I didn't really want to move her all the way over there. But that's okay. 
and he's still got the the, the dirt. You know, the, we kind of took a lot of uh, extra cautions. Let's, uh, let's take him out with the sniper to end it. Pow. He's done. We get the coin. And, guys, that's anti-squad for the most part. Let's, uh, I know I said I'd tell you about those crates. Let's do that really quick. Shows we want a crate. And we got, uh, we did, we did it without losses. We did get injured. Seems like a very, oh, it looks like we got two crates here. Now, crate, here, here is the crates. We can click on here. This is a free one to unlock. Let's open it up here. And basically you wanna stop it. These are special items you can actually use during your missions. You can equip, you can buy them. Oh, and we got coins. Coins are the best thing to get, I think. $2,000 that we can use to upgrade. And I'll just, you know, like here, now we have $32,000 to upgrade. Let's, uh, I kinda wanna give him more action points. Do we have enough? Oh, we don't even have enough. I'm gonna save up for that. 10 more action points would be very nice for the sniper. But, hope you guys like it. Check out the game. I might do some more plays of the each individual stage of this game. But, uh, hope you guys like Genius Pie Trap. Over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. Giddy up.